All right, what's up, guys? Well, yeah, so as uh, some of you guys know, I was involved in a little car accident, and uh, a guy cut me off, tried to flee the scene, and uh, yeah, it's a messed up situation, but uh, the insurance is gonna fix it. Um, he wanted to pay, pay cash on the spot, like a low life, and uh, because I'm pretty sure he has a pretty bad record as it is and he doesn't want, you know, his shit to go up. But I went straight to the, uh, to the insurance the proper way and, uh, yeah. It got kind of like burned up right here by his tire, all right here, right there, and... To be really, really honest, the paint didn't get that damaged at all. But uh, there's obviously a dent right there. I'm still rocking this ghetto bracket. Got to do something with that. Um, since this is a Civic um, single cam radiator, this outlet, it's a smaller diameter, and the B series rocks a bigger hose. So whenever when I put these on there, the clamping force wasn't enough, and I was getting leaks on this one. And then I bought this, and then right here it was puddling, but not anymore. And then I started getting leaks on the bottom one, and then I had to uh, tighten up this the clamp more. And I was losing coolant. My coolant is perfectly fine right now. And um, I actually was thinking my engine was uh, either burning it or in the oil. But the oil seemed fine. And yeah, the coolant was going down. So I was, was kind of worried. But now everything's uh, perfectly fine except the radiator fan. I got to um, fix up the shroud and stuff like that. And this bracket. But I guess it's like an update on this cheap eBay $43 dual core half size uh, radiator absolutely perfect so it kind of sucks though because I did the radiator I did my cam seal did the VTEC solenoid seal um, I'm gonna do the distributor next um, what the hell I got my dogs all jumping in the back um, I was gonna do a lot of other little things but now I got to deal with this also, I believe the wheel is actually pushed in also. So I'm actually looking at a upper control arm. I gotta take it off and assess the damage as far as like any type of ripped bushing or um, yeah, that's a pretty good hot spot right there. But yeah, for the people that don't, that don't know, these are a Prelude um, rotors, 11.1, .1, and these are dual piston calipers from the Acura Legend it's like my favorite setup right now I would actually like to do this on a Civic it'd be pretty good uh, braking power for a smaller chassis but yeah guys so that's the car it looks like crap but um, I'm gonna end up um, buying another fender an OEM fender from the junkyard and get rid of this one because this is actually the fender that came off my green car that got totaled so this thing is like probably bad karma but it was a clean fender at one time there was just a little buckle right here that i had fixed from the whole wreck but besides that it was a nice fender so i'm just gonna throw this away and uh buy a a clean one from the junkyard and have the same guys repaint that and the bumper um, i could probably use some compound and touch up paint right here because the paint is not gone. This is just tire marks. But I don't want to do that. I'm going to just uh, respray the whole front end, the bumper cover, and this. Um, yeah, for you guys that don't know, if this was the OEM factory original VIN matching fender, I would obviously pull this dent out and fix it. But none of this stuff is original. The hood is not original. The fender is not original obviously I just said 
The bumper is not original. These mirrors are pretty much not original. Um, the rear bumper cover, it's not original. It's actually a eBay special. It fits all right. The gaps aren't too bad. So yeah, so just a little update that for the people that don't know that nothing is really original on this car. Mostly OEM, but yeah, like this fender's original door, obviously quarter panel. It just has a bunch of, uh, not bunch, but body filler. Oh yeah, guys, so that's the update on the car. Um, you guys kind of got a little bit shocked when I said rest in peace in Tiger on Instagram. Yeah, I was like kind of shocked myself. That's why I said it. I didn't know the extent of the damage because I was still going through hell mentally. But this is not rest in peace Integra. It's still here. It's fine. Drivable. And uh, she's very enjoyable to drive still, as you guys know. But yeah, guys, so that's a little update. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And any questions, uh, leave it down below. And yeah, I'll see ya.